up guys, Absolute Dawless here coming to you with another One Piece video, and in today's One Piece video I have for you round two of my locals where I am on Red Yellow Subbo versus Sakazuki. Now Sakazuki is going first here, he is going to look at his top five cards of his deck with the Tashigi he just played. Let's see what he's going to add, looks like he's going to have a look at his hand real quickly just to choose exactly what he wants to get, you know, make sure he doesn't get a double. And he goes ahead and adds a brand new to hand, alright, brand new goes into his hand. And let's see if he's going to pass. He probably will. No, he's going to use the ability of leader to get rid of a great eruption and draw a card. Okay, my turn as the summer player. And I just pass straight back. No turn one play. Didn't draw a Bello Betty. Didn't draw a turn one such as Hiori to potentially get a trigger. So we just straight pass back to him. Okie dokie. So what Sakazuki going to do? He's going to swing five into my life right off the bat. Do we choose to take it? Do we choose to counter? We choose to just take it. No trigger at all sadly which is a little unfortunate but hey we'll continue going here it looks like he's gonna play brand new looking at top five adding a oh think looks like he thought for a second to add that hound blaze or not okay and then he's gonna rest one to go ahead and great eruption no he didn't even rest the one he wanted to use leader ability get rid of a rebecca it looks like and pass his turn after that didn't want to use that one don just accidentally rested it okay so i'm on four don now Subbo's on the board, so we could go ahead and do a decent swing here. Alright. What am I going to do? It looks like I have a lot of cards in hand with a potential lot of options. So let's see what my options are going to entail. Looks like I'm just thinking just really carefully before I make my play. So I rest for Dawn and I play Karasu. Karasu's going to decrease his leader and then we're going to swing a 5 into his 4k leader at that point. Okay, so will he be able to get rid of the Karasu is the question here. Because if he gets rid of the Karasu, it means that, well, yes, I'm a character down, which is unfortunate. But, hey, we can probably still do something with it in a bit, right? So he rests one, plays a Tashigi to look at the top five cards of his deck. We do know that he currently has a Hound Blaze in his hand as well. So he only needs is a decreased card to be able to get rid of the Karasu. And he has four Don to play with. Okay. So he goes ahead and adds that Suru. Will he use the Suru to go ahead and decrease Karasu at that point? And he does. He goes ahead and gets rid of the Karasu with a Hound Blaze and boosts his Branu. Then he swings 7 into life. We get a trigger of Satori, which is very nice, discarding a Sanji. Alright, and then we unrest our Don and draw for turn. Okay, so we're going to rest forward to play the Okiku Nojo. Then we're going to put one on Okiku and one on the Sabo to use the leader ability to put Okiku Nojo into life and increase the Satori. And then he's get, we're going to swing six, get countered for two, and then swing seven, which he does not counter. Okay, so we've got the five cost Satori, which is very good because it means they have to expend more resources to essentially get Satori down. And if he does hit us in life, then we get to play the Okiku Nojo for free, which is very good because he's on two life. That's kind of the idea that I've got with my Sabo deck, to be honest. Okay, so he goes ahead and swings 5 into life and decreases the Satori by 1. I choose to counter this. And he plays a Borsalino. Okay, so I was playing around the Borsalino then. Trying to stop him from just putting the Okikonojo into my deck again. Because we know he only plays one Borsalino because that's the standard number for the Sakazuki decks nowadays. So we're in a much better position. Okay, so we're on 8 Don now. What do we want to do with our 8 Don? Okay, so we could go ahead and swing a big number into life, we could go ahead and uh, drop some characters down. What is the play for us to do right now? Hmm, so it looks like I'm picking up four Don, okay. And we play Okiku Nojo, alright, so we're probably going to go ahead and put Okiku Nojo in life then. Put one onto Okiku Nojo, put a load onto life, onto leader, and then put Okiku Nojo into life and then swing eight into life. He does choose to take the 8k swing, and then unrest all is done. So if he does hit us at this point, we get to play Okiku Nojo for free, which is very nice. We've got two of them there. So free triggers galore. We've got a decent number of cards in hand. Next time we're going on to 10, we get to play the Okiku Nojo there. So he did swing for the 8. Plays the stage to decrease the Okiku Nojo. Okay. And then rests 2 to probably Houndblaze it, and he does do that. Puts a Don on, well, the Houndblaze on his leader. And he's probably going to swing a decent chunk into my life, right? He's going to swing 9 into life. We get to play the Okiku Nojo again. Will he be able to remove it again? No, it doesn't look like it. He's going to rest fire to play a Sabo, which is going to draw 2 and then trash 2. Okay. So he's trashed 1. 
and then stretch another. We could not see it because it's off camera, do apologize about that, guys. But we're on 10 Don now. We've got the Okiku Nojo on the board. He's got one blocker. So we're gonna rest seven to play seven, Mum. Very good here, to be honest. Means that he can either give us a life, which puts us on four life because we have the leader ability still in the swing with Okiku Nojo, or he could take the life. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what his choice is. It looks like he's gonna go ahead and get rid of the life. All right. And then we're gonna put two on Okiku Nojo and swing an eight into life. Is he gonna block and counter? He's gonna block using a two and a one most likely. Uh, didn't see what the other card, but it is what I did see a Virgo there. Then we're gonna swing, well, we're gonna use leader ability first, increasing the big mum and putting Okiku Nojo back into life. And then we swing a six, which does get countered with a two. Alrighty. So what is the Sakazuki's play this turn? Because we're on free life, we have the 7 mum on board, which is very, very nice. We're gonna get the Okiku Nojo back if he swings into our life. Like, and we've got a decent number of cards in hand as well. So we're in a very, very good position here. Okay. So it looks like he split his Don up into 9 and 1, or is now putting it back together. Okay, so he's gonna use the leader ability, trashing one to draw one, didn't see what it was. He's gonna put one onto his Subbo, swing seven into life. We get to play the Okiku Nojo for free there, which is very good. And still have two life left, so he's gonna swing seven into life now. We're gonna counter with a two and a one, one of them being Karasu. All right. And what is that, a seven swing with the Brenu? It looks like he's just thinking if it's the right choice to seven swing. And then, yep, swing seven. I choose to take it and get with Trigger of a Lindbergh. Very nice. Swings six into life now, which gets countered. Takes the Borsalino swing. Then he part. Well, he just kind of scoops there from the looks of it, but I go ahead and just swing, show him what's left in my hand, and that is GG against the Sakazuki player. So, yeah, guys, that was Subo versus Sakazuki. Honestly, I'm really liking the new red yellow Subo leader. He is. Honestly, one of my favorite cards to come out in the red-yellow decks, well, the new Ultiman decks that have just been released. He's such a cool leader to play, and just essentially having infinite life gain and be able to abuse stuff like Okiku Nocho, cards that your opponent doesn't really want to kill because it gives you a life, but then just getting the life anyway and making it so your opponent can never remove her it's just a very, very good card, guys, and I really, really do like it. So, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more One Piece content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Absolute Duelist, signing out. Later, all.